So this says a different player has a standard deviation of eight miles per hour on his first serve. And 20% of his serves go less than 100 miles per hour. If the distribution of his serve speeds is approximately normal, what is his average first serve speed? Okay, so let me sketch a little distribution. In this instance, okay, they are asking me to find the average first serve speed. So I am looking for mu. Okay. Uh, they tell me that 20% of the serves go less than 100 miles per hour. So I'm going to mark 100 here on my distribution and shade in the area to the left. And this is 20%. Okay, so I know that my value of X is going to be 100. My standard deviation is eight. And I'm trying to find mu. And so since they gave me this percentage of 20%, I'm going to use inverse normal to find a Z-score and then find mu algebraically. Okay, so take your calculator. We're going to go inverse norm. And again, inverse norm, we always find the area to the left. So in this case, it's always, it's always a decimal also because the area under a density curve has to be one. So this is going to be inverse norm of 0.2 with mu and sigma zero and one. Okay, so somebody give me that value. Inverse norm of 0.2 is what? Negative zero point eight four one. Okay. I know that I know that it has to be negative, right? Because it's below the mean. So negative point eight four two. Oh, I got everybody, everybody okay. Okay, so now I'm going to set up an algebraic equation. This is my z-score. So I know that negative 0.842 equals 100 minus mu over eight. And I'm going to solve that algebraically for mu. So take your calculator. We do negative 0.842 times eight, and then subtract 100. And then divide by negative one, getting rid of the negative. And solving for mu, I got 106.733 miles per hour. Solving this algebraically, I'm going to multiply both sides by eight and then subtract 100. Okay. Okay, so the last thing we're, we're going to look at is called a normal probability plot. And so we use normal probability plots to check and see if a distribution is approximately normal. And so we are going to check to see how linear the plot is. Linearity implies normality. So if we have a distribution, and we have these data points, we can plot them on a normal probability plot. And if it is, if the normal probability, if the normal probability plot makes a fairly straight line, then that implies that the distribution is normal. Okay, so we're going to make a normal um, 
probability plot with our calculator. So take your calculator. And go to the spreadsheets. And I need you to put the data into the spreadsheet there. So I entitled this capacity. These measurements are the usable usable capacity of refrigerators. So once you get your data into the calculator, I need you to add a page and go to add data and stats. So I'm going to go to control doc, add data and stats. And then I'm going to click on the bottom, click to add variable. And your variable should pop up. And once you click on the variable, it should give you a dot plot. Once you have the dot plot, you need to go to menu. And then plot type. And then choose option number four, which is the normal probability plot. And as you can see, The normal probability plot is fairly linear. All of the data are clustered around that line. Therefore, that would imply that this is a normal distribution. Okay, and so what if you have an outlier or two? Okay, let's say that there's a dot up here. I, I think that's okay. All right, as long as the entire plot is not scattered. If most of the plot is linear, then that implies that the distribution is approximately normal. Okay. 